Well, hello there everybody. It's Sally here and welcome to today's teaching tips. And interesting, it's really stormy here in the UK and it has been for the whole of the last week really. We've had three main storms. We've had gales, we got blew away completely round here last Wednesday. We've had snow, we've had all sorts of things. And even today, just trying to connect there, it thought about it for a moment, but I'm here. And I want to just talk today, all this weather has made me think, you know, how do we can connect the repertoire our students are learning to their everyday life? And I think the weather is just one example of how we can do that. And it made me think all this stormy weather, indeed, of the uh, jazz piece, stormy weather, and of other pieces that are about storms and the weather generally. Because I think it's important for our students to recognise that music creates moods, characters, and it is can relate to what they do. Because often if we can relate it like that, then they will learn it so much quicker and so much easier. And hence this being part of the repertoire rich studio approach. So what it made me think of this, uh, this recent stormy weather in particular was the wonderful piece by Bergmuller, L'Orage, The Storm. Here's, here's the opening of it, just in case you don't know it. student who learns that goes oh I love this piece so it's The Storm by Bergmuller and it's from his opus 109 number 13. Now if you haven't come across Bergmuller the composer before please do explore him because he does studies but in the most exquisite way and they're not just about your fingers working they clearly are but he does it with such imagination and sensitivity that it immediately strikes literally a chord with our students. So this is a great piece, I think, for a late elementary, moving on to um, early intermediate student who is trying to develop their repertoire and really get a, a, a good tranche of repertoire at this level underneath their fingers. And they will take it and they will run with it and really, really love playing it, as I say. The thing, just a word of warning about this piece, because the ending is really quite hard to play musically and convincingly. The rest of the piece kind of paints itself and he's written in crescendos and diminuendos and you can hear the storm coming forward and then going again, whatever it is, whether it's at sea or if it was anything like here last Sunday when I got absolutely drenched to the skin, you know, hail coming down as well and you've just got these gusts of wind throwing it all in your face. Exactly what made me think of this. But at the end, you know, we go into the major and the sun comes out. lovely that's not so hard what's the hardest thing of all actually is the bar with or the two bars that have the fewest notes yeah and they are this bit you know, that has a real poetic feel to it and it, the the melodic line has to be painted so very carefully Two things, just a word of warning, two things, rhythm tends to go there, their sense of pulse gets lost, they're so busy playing all those semi quavers, you know, they have to go from after the brilliance of the rest of it just a word of warning now the other piece that I was that it also made me think about and that yesterday I was out and about in the dales and I saw three not one not two but three rainbows um, that shows you how many little showers there were around and with one of them I could almost touch the end of the rainbow you know you're not supposed to but I almost found that pot of gold 
and that immediately takes me there's lots of pieces of course about rainbows but that took me to june armstrong's lovely piece r for rainbow which is in her alphabet series and it starts like this simple it can be a rote piece and can be learnt very easily as part of the repertoire challenge um, and the ending has multiple phrase marks all piled one on top of the other just like a rainbow and so you can get them to uh, colour those in and the ending is a rainbow like this alphabet by June Armstrong that was. So connecting the repertoire your students are learning to everyday life can really help them to be motivated about the pieces they're going to learn and there's lots of opportunity you just think you know if you if it's snowy out there then there's the snow is dancing by Debussy or other cold and icy pieces that you can do. So thank you so much all for watching. I'd love you to write in the comments below some of the pieces that you might use everyday uh, titles that you can connect, sorry, pieces that you can connect to everyday things that go on in, in students' life. I can see there's already, uh, all right, Julie has come up. Julie Cooper, thank you, Julie. Thunderstorm Over the Prairie from the Unit 3 uh, improvisation piece in Piano Safari. Keep those comments coming and we can all share and learn from each other. Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye for now.